So, we are in Windhoek, spelled Windhoek, or H-O-E-K, wind, um, but pronounced Windhoek, uh, which is the capital and largest city in Namibia, a country in the southwest of Africa, um, just to the west of South Africa, and um, facing the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Anyway, so this is a property in Vinhook called the Olive Exclusive. And uh, there's only seven rooms. It's on the outskirts of uh, the suburbs of Windhoek. And so there's only seven rooms. This one is a uh, premier suite. There's, so of the seven rooms, four are premier suites, which are the flagship rooms at 100 square meters. And then there's uh, the other three are junior suites. So we are in room one, a premier suite. Um, so here we go. We've entered in here. Take a look over here. Really stylish, as you can see, boutique luxury. Again, only seven rooms. Massive elephant. It's like there's a carcass bone of a whale up there. A lot of um, cool little things here to see and do. Stylus chairs. Living room with flat screen TV. So Windhoek, um, again, the population of Namibia as a country, which is a pretty large country, of 2.6 million, and uh, Windhoek has about 600,000 people living here. This is the um, starting and ending point for most people that go on a safari in Namibia. And uh, yes, Namibia is a safari destination, not in the same way that Kenya and you know Masai Mara and the Serengeti and Botswana are. Um, it's more of a subtle and mainly desert style experience, which has some amazing desert landscapes, real diverse ones. And, um, but it also does have uh, its share of wildlife that lives in a harsh environment. And uh, one of the things is, is that you'll be amazed when you see those wildlife thinking to yourself, how the heck are they surviving here? Anyway, so this is the, 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 the sleeping area. And then let's show you the washroom area. So anyways, uh, Namibia is probably not the first place that you think about or you will be recommended in terms of if you're going to go on a safari um, because you want to, you know, go to, you, it's not the Disneyland for, you know, animals like lions and leopards and and rhinos and things like that. Um, again, it's it, it's more subtle. It's it's appreciating wildlife surviving in, in times, at times thriving in such a climate that even humans historically have not um, spent their time in abundance in this uh, in this type of uh, geography. So anyway, so, so this is a kind of a, there is a Hilton and some other larger hotels in Windhoek, but again, um, it's a small, intimate property. Uh, it is, you can see that the rooms are pretty luxurious. Um, over here is a nice expansive deck. By the way, look at the sky and the clouds. Beautiful, right? Um, so there's a little sitting area here, a little uh, kind of a plunge pool. 
my sitting area. So you can see there's a bunch of olive trees around. This is where they get the name Olive Exclusive from. Anyway, so this is the start of our of our journey. Um, we're only over most people just overnight here, uh, just to either recuperate from a long travel into Namibia or before they go on, uh, before they go home. You know, one final night in a city. And um, because you know, the more time you have on a safari, the better. And as nice as Windhoek may be in, in this property, that's kind of not why you would fly many, many hours to come here for. Anyways, so all of exclusive premier suite, suite number one in Windhoek, Namibia. Hope you enjoyed.